Welcome back. This is Sandy with Sandy's Organized Chaos, and today we're going to be doing this really cute watermelon tumbler. This was a lot of fun to make, and I know you guys got this. As always, I'll make sure to put everything that I use today into the description box below, so that way you guys can find those items if you would like to. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. So let's wake up, prep those tumblers, and slay all day. I've already prepped and primed my tumbler. I went ahead and I spray painted it this prickly pear color by Rust-Oleum. I thought it went really well with the color glitter that I'm gonna be using today. Now I'm gonna be applying my glitter with the epoxy method today. I just feel like it lays a lot flatter when I do it this way. The epoxy that I'm using today is Lumilite's Amazing Quick Coat Epoxy which dries a lot quicker than the regular Illumilite Amazing Clear Cast. I'm able to apply my second coat of epoxy right over top of it after about three hours. Once I have my tumbler fully coated in that epoxy, I'm gonna go ahead and start adding my glitter. The glitter that I'm using today is called Pretty and Pink, and that is from my shop, socglitters.com. But you guys can obviously use any type of glitter you already have on hand for this project. Now I am not worried about covering the entire tumbler with my glitter. I just want to make sure that I cover those sides here. I don't want to cover the bottom or anything like that because we're going to be spray painting it anyways in the end. Now after that turned on my turner for about 45 minutes, I came back through with some gloved hands and I pushed all those glitters down that were poking up so that we had a nice smooth surface. Now this is after I applied another coat of epoxy right over that raw glitter. Now you wanna make sure that you hit it up really good with your torch so that way it pops any micro bubbles that might be there. Now that it is fully dry, we are ready to move on to sanding it. Now when I move on to sanding it, I like to make sure that I, hit, I get the rim really good. I make sure that I come through with an X-Acto knife and I just trim up that rim really well. Then I'm gonna take it to my sink and I'm gonna give it a really good wet sanding. The reason for the wet sanding is just so that way little particles don't fly all over the place because that's not good for you to breathe in. And it'll also kind of clean it off as you go as well. So I'm gonna go take it to the sink and give it a good scrubbing. Now I'm gonna go ahead and apply my seeds to my tumbler. And of course, before you apply your seeds, you just want to make sure that you dry it off really good before you do this process. Now, the color vinyl that I chose today, I actually chose a holographic opal color through Art Arteza. I'll make sure to put that into the description below. I just really liked the way this looked. I thought it went really well with everything that I was doing here, and I didn't want the traditional black seeds. I just kind of wanted to think a little bit outside of the box, so that's why I did this. But if you want black seeds, please feel free to add those if you would like. There is no right or wrong when it comes to making art. Now again, I just mainly focused on the center of our tumbler here because that's where all of our designs and stuff will be. So there's no reason to kind of put those seeds up towards the top or more towards the bottom because we're just gonna be painting it anyways. So I'm gonna go ahead and place that back onto my football. And now we are ready to add another thin coat of epoxy over top of this. And again, I'm gonna be using my quick coat epoxy for this so that we, we can move on to that next step a little bit quicker. And for anybody who is new, who sands their tumblers and it gets really dull, it's gonna be okay. Once that epoxy is applied, that shine completely comes back. Now I put this epoxy on at night and I went ahead and let it cure overnight. So that way the next morning I could apply my paints to it. Now I'm gonna be doing kind of a two-step process with my paints here. The first paints I'm gonna be using are this gloss white. I'm also gonna be using this key lime green from Rust-Oleum. And I will also be using my Dawn Power Wash Spray to achieve the look of the rind on the top and the bottom. Now, instead of focusing on the center of the tumbler, I'm gonna be focusing on the top and the bottom of the tumbler. Now, when I use my Dawn Power Wash Spray, I wanna make sure that I completely spray off the center of my tumbler, trying to leave the same amount of gap at the top and the bottom. It was probably in the end about a one inch, one and a half inch to two inch gap on the top and the bottom. I'm gonna go ahead and take my paints and I'm gonna shake them up really well and I'm gonna prime them before I start spray painting just to make sure that they work well before we start going. 
Now I'm going to be doing an ombre look with the green and the white, which I will show you here in a second. Now right here I'm just showing you exactly where I'm going to put my Dawn Power Wash Spray. I just want to make sure that I completely fill in that middle to try to make sure there's no overspray, which in the end there was a little bit of overspray, but that's okay because we can come through and clean that up, which I will show you guys here in a minute. Now, because I'm trying to hold it up to show you guys on the camera, it did keep slipping down a little bit. So when you are doing it, make sure you hold it even. Make sure you hold it level with the ground so that way it doesn't slip around on you. But that's the only reason why it kept slipping up and down is because I'm trying to hold it up to the camera for you guys. <laughs> Now, once you are done doing your power wash spray, you're gonna quickly pick up your white spray paint and you're just gonna do along the rim of that power wash spray. So just right where it meets the part of the glitter there, you just wanna quickly spray that. And then you're gonna quickly move on to your green and you're gonna make sure that you just very lightly get the rim around the bottom there. And then you're gonna come up and you're gonna do along the top as well. And you just want to make sure that you cover everything really good and make sure you don't cover that white too much. Then you're going to quickly pick up your water hose or dunk it down into your water bucket, whichever you have on hand to quickly rinse off the Dawn Power Wash Spray there. And there you go. You have that first step accomplished. Now this dries pretty much as soon as the water hits it. I don't know what the deal is with that. I'm just saying it just dries pretty quick. But I went ahead and I, I wanted to let the little water droplets completely dry. So I just kind of set it off to the side. And then when I was ready to move on to the next step, I just made sure there was no little water droplets anywhere on the tumbler. So that way we could move on to the darker green spots. Now I'm going to be moving on to the darker green spots now that my tumbler is dry. And that is called Spring Green. And again, that is from Rust-Oleum. Now I'm going to be taking my Power Wash Spray. Well, before I shake up my green really well, prime it, make sure everything works. You got to make sure everything works because there's nothing worse than it not working <laughs> when you go to spray it. So now I'm going to take my Power Wash Spray and I'm going to fill in the center. Well, I'm not going to fully fill in. I just want to basically fill in right around the rim where the white meets the green. I'm going to fill that in really good. I'm going to do that on the top and the bottom. And then I'm just going to give it a couple of spritzes just to add just a little bit more character to the lighter green. I'm going to go ahead and spritz that up really good, spritz it around. Then I'm going to take my darker green and we are just going to go right around that lighter green. You just want to do little quick bursts of your green just like that all the way around. You don't want to do too much. Then you're going to do the same thing. You're going to get your hose or dunk it down into your bucket. You're going to rinse it off really good. And then you're going to let that sit and dry completely. I really love the dimension that you get when you do the power wash spray. I really love this technique, as you guys can tell. <laughs> I, I, I use it quite often. <laughs> All right, we are back inside and everything is nice and dry. It took about 30 minutes. I let it set outside and now we're ready to start cleaning it off. Now, the first thing I'm gonna use is my nail polish remover, my 100% acetone. Then I'm gonna move on to my 91% rubbing alcohol after that. The reason why I'm gonna be using the acetone is to clean out the inside of that rim. As you can see, a lot of overspray got up inside of there and you wanna make sure there's absolutely no paints inside of your tumbler before you ship them off to your customers. That is very important. So each step that you do, you want to make sure that you clean and all that as you go. The 100% acetone completely removes paint, while the rubbing alcohol is just going to remove a little bit of the paint. So it won't completely take away from the design, but it will just kind of clean it up for you. So that's why I'm using the rubbing alcohol for the center of our tumbler here. There were some spots that I went ahead and I did do the acetone where I knew it wouldn't mess with the design that we did at the top. But with this rubbing alcohol, I'm gonna show you right here. I'm gonna go ahead and I have my rag all loaded up with my rubbing alcohol and I'm just gonna rub it down really good. And as you can see, it just kind of cleans everything up and just makes everything look really nice without taking away from the design. I even cleaned up just a little bit of the white uh, just to make sure that it was a little bit more pure than having some of those greens on there, just here and there, because I kind of like the look of the greens dipping down into the tumbler and stuff. I just thought it looked pretty neat, but in certain places, I just wanted to touch it up just even more. Now, obviously, everything that I show you guys is just for you guys to kind of take and, and do what you want with it or duplicate it as you would like. It is completely up to you, wherever your imagination takes you let it take you there 
Now once you are done cleaning it up, you can go ahead and apply your decal. Now because my decal just went right in the middle, I didn't have anything wrong with doing that, so that's why I went ahead and applied it now. I just used a simple green and white to kind of match the top and the bottom of my tumbler here. I just did that all right in my Cricut design space because I use Cricut, but you guys can just have a plain and simple design if you'd like, or however you choose to do it is completely up to you. I just really thought this decal was a lot of fun. Girls just want to have fun because, you know, girls just want to have fun, right? <laughs> I thought it was a good play on the song. I'm gonna make sure that my decal is firmly pressed down. If there's any little bubbles, because we used a basic vinyl, you can come through with a little needle and just pop any little bubbles and just press them out with your fingernail. It'll be perfectly fine. You wanna go ahead and give it two last coats of epoxy, and you wanna make sure you hit it up with your torch really good, and then she is good to go. Whether you take this design and duplicate it as is, or you take it and let it inspire you to create something that is completely your own, I hope that you guys had a lot of fun watching this tutorial today. Again, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, and I will see you guys next time.